Good morning guys, we're out here in Port Connor, Texas. Freaking brand new fishing spot to the skiff. It's gonna open up a lot of water over here, man. I have never fished here. Right now, I finna hit a uh, marsh entrance, man. I don't know what's back there. Maybe it's too shallow, cause it's kinda shallow right here at the entrance. But uh, you never know, man. We're gonna see what we can get on. Hopefully I can side cast some reds. It's pretty calm today. If not, I'll go ahead and uh, catch some bait and chunk some bait. But man, I have high hopes for today. Let's see how we can get things done. Get things rolling today, man. <laughs> I get what y'all, if we get on some fish. Oh, there we go. First cast. First cast, baby. Right in this cut. I knew it, I knew there had to be a fish. Nice trout. Oh my gosh. Nice trout, guys. That is a solid trout, guys. Oh my gosh. Look at that, Chungus. Oh, on a micro shrimp, guys, on my BFS. That's freaking awesome. That guy is thick, man. All right, guys. Look, man, we went from super shallow. Literally, the mouth of the creek is almost dry. There's bait popping. And I just went up this little creek. First freaking cast in this deeper area and holy crap. I seen some reds popping over there. I'm gonna go over there in a minute. Hold up guys oh, He's still right there Yep, he's just right here You can hit it, watch. Come on, guy. Oh, he was on. He was on. <laughs> Freaking on another backlash. Why has that been happening to me lately? Small red though. Small guy. Man guys, I'm keeping today, but I was gonna put that first trout on a stringer. But uh he slipped out of my hand, got off. <laughs> That's funny. But I seen a few reds back here. I literally went 10 15 yards from where I caught that trout and I've seen two schools so far but two of them already turned back around but uh I spooked one on the bank but this ain't him this ain't the one I spooked much bigger guy all right guys I'll get back uh, with y'all in a sec Yep. Susan hit the water. <laughs> Man, this stuff's fun, guys, on this little BFS rod. BFS reel, at least. Sm another small red. He's a pretty guy. Come on, guys. Don't scare off all the others now. Okay. Get you out real quick. Get this hook out of you. There we go. Right there, man. Little marsh rated. <laughs> Gotta love it, man. This stuff freaking awesome, man. There's a freaking hole back like I still gotta discover. I haven't even got out of the creek mouth yet. Jesus, I'm over, I've only traveled like 20, 30 yards so far.
There we go. Another fish. I think they're all small reds, man. <laughs> Where are all the big guys at? Maybe I just need to upsize my bait. <laughs> That's probably what it is. Just need to upsize. But man, these guys are chewing. Little shrimp, little red. Probably put a three and a half inch here in a bit. Bigger profile. We'll see. I'm sure the big ones, if they're if I put it in their face, they'll hit it. Where y'all at, guy? Where y'all at? There we go. Right off the bank. Another nice trout. Another very nice trout. Thick, healthy trout, man. Thick, healthy trout. God dang. So that's what's popping back here, huh? Trout and reds. You already know. Alright guys, I'm gonna get this guy on a stringer. Yeah. Man, I had the other one, but that would have been two nice trout today. But uh the other one got lucky. Dang guys. I had put a mud minnow that had jumped into my kayak onto the hook. He literally fell into my kayak. I smashed him, so I, I put him on a freaking jig head and he freaking got smacked immediately. I mean, he's not a huge guy, but he's a guy, you know? He's a guy. Right at this bend. <laughs> nice little red. You're probably 19, 20, but uh, we're looking for some bigger guys. You have yourself a great day, man. I'm gonna go ahead and throw another bait real quick. I brought shrimp, but I just got lucky that mud minna jumped inside my uh, yak. But uh, these are pretty freaking frozen. But uh, I mean, we'll try it real quick. See if we can get one more. I'll try to keep throwing plastics though. Plastics are the way to go, man. Soak the cut bait right in that cut. Thought there had to be something there. He's a smaller guy, but uh. Isn't that bad? I wonder why they have this weird uh, pattern in their scales. A lot of them have it here. For some reason. Hmm. Let's see.
to the whole school. Check that out. That's insane. Look at that. Oh, got all these schools, guys. One, two, there's one over there in the distance. Three right here. I'm trying to catch up to them. They're pretty much running away. God, look at that explosion over there. It's just freaking insane, guys. This is what I've been waiting for. A little bit of warmth. Got these guys riled up. And unaccessible by boat. This place is unaccessible by kayak. This is pretty much a skiff only accessible area which is pretty freaking awesome there we go seen him seen his wake <laughs> There you go. Side casted slot red, man. That's how you do it. Oh, and there he goes. Just popped off. And that's why you bring a net. <laughs> it's alright, guys. There's freaking reds everywhere, man. We'll get on another one. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, there you go, guys. Right in front of me. Man, guys, there's reds everywhere. A lot of them have been small. I think it's because this is a, such a small entrance. There's not, uh, like, bigger reds, like big slot reds. I could be wrong, but, you know. Look at this freaking pattern. That's so weird. Such a weird pattern. That's freaking awesome. Come on, guy. How you gonna be bleeding all that? Hooked you in the mouth. The boy bleeding. Digging around in the moistures. I seen a a school right along that bank. Yep, there they come up. Ha <laughs> ha! Gonna go to one right now. Got a tailor right there, guys. Close to him, but not, but not close enough. Look at them. Look at them splash back there. Where'd that tailor go? Man, guys, this stuff is freaking insane. Look at that. There's a school coming at me right now. This, it's freaking, I've never seen stuff like this, man. Like, this is freaking awesome. I knew, I knew they were going to be back here, man. That little warmer temperature, the tide's a little bit higher. I knew they'll be pushing back here. Let's go get on some more, man. It's freaking awesome. <laughs> I can't just keep looking at the freaking school right in front of me. Check out all these reds, guys. School right here. School right there. All those schools back there freaking popping right in front of me that's insane damn I need a cash right here they're right here next to me oh my goodness This is insane, guys. <laughs> this is some stuff I don't typically see every day, but in Port Connor, it's pretty common. Look, there's one coming right at me. Right at me. Dang, 
insane, guys. Look at that stuff. That's insane, guys. I can't get him to hit a lure. I don't know what's why. I don't know. I need... I wonder what they're feeding on. I don't see shrimp popping, but then again, I don't see other stuff either. There we go. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This is insane, guys. This is insane. Look at all these freaking reds on this one oyster reef. This is some stuff you do not see every day. Come here, guys. You good, guy? You good, guy? Look at that. A nice, perfectly slot red. I'm trying to be quiet because I want to catch a lot more. And these guys are pretty freaking everywhere. Look at his spines. Oh, that's gross. Those look freaking stab someone three dots two dots that's freaking awesome man look at these oh my god it's all around me <laughs> god damn that's freaking insane there's so many schools still back there oh my god man this is something else guys this is something else